So the whole idea of MK Ultra was controlling society. Do you think it seeps into serial killers uh, and and mass shooters? So Christians will not want to go into this kind of techno slavery. Do you think it's to an eliminate a certain sections of society? They want to use your hand as an identifier. So the mark isn't that far off. What can we do as Christians to combat this? Hey everybody, this is David Hevener, and I'm proud to announce the release of my brand new TV series, The Last Evangelist, exclusively on davidhevener.tv. support material to terrorists. We were just handing out Bible. This is an illegal translation. You're going to be going away for a very long time. Subscribe now. Go to davidhevener.tv. I want to talk about MKUltra. Um, I have interviewed so many people that's victims of MKUltra, people that have studied MKUltra. Is MKUltra being used right now? Your opinion? Yeah, I think that some of the techniques are definitely being used right now. There's also very sophisticated mind control things happening through uh, uh, technology. And uh, one is called Deep Dream. So I think they've really advanced from when MK Ultra really was formulated. I think it was 1953. Yeah. And there was 148 or 49 subgroups. So they studied everything. But the whole idea of MK Ultra was to create these kind of like uh, mind controlled assassins, which I think they successfully did, but also to uh, control society as a whole. So the whole idea of MK Ultra was in the, with the overarching goal of controlling society. So whatever techniques they could use, drugs, hypnotism, actually they had a black magic subsection called MK Often. But I do mm -hmm. think that very sophisticated techniques are being used today. And you've seen some of these, there was a guy who did the Buffalo shooting, who had a, quote, FBI handler, unquote, or ex-FBI guy. But he was very strange. And some of these other shooters are uh, spending a lot of time online, very similar to kind of the study stuff I studied in Global Death Cult. But I do think that this mind control technology is uh, much more advanced. I think the government knows a lot. And they have they could, they have assets. Yeah, I do believe that. The well, the thing is, you look on the news, William, and you see, and I don't want to get into politics. We'll get into it when we go underground. But you see politicians, you see even religious figures, you see these, these quote, heads of, of these organizations, uh, these CEOs, and they say things. And I don't know if you've ever done this, you ever looked at yourself and go, they're being controlled by something. This is not normal, what they're saying, what's coming out of their mouth. Yes. So I think that some of these people are definitely blackmailed, but how much they're controlled and what they're told to say is a whole nother story. But I yeah. do think that there's been code words. If you look, one of the interesting cases of kind of modern controls was this guy, uh, Muhammad, who was the DC sniper. They said very strange things to him that were almost like control phrases. Like uh, if you remember that whole case, uh, yeah, it was driving around shooting people. So that was, I think one, and they involved the tarot and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. How deep this goes, I do think that there are programs to create uh, mind controlled assets. No question. I think that's what they were doing uh, back in the 50s and 60s. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, they're using it, I think, in every aspect of life when it comes to, to big pharma, you know, medicine, um, when it comes to entertainment, uh, when it comes to religion. OK, and obviously politics, but it's being it's in every part of our lives. Now, I have said to people and I'm going to ask you this question because I come up from a background of mental health um, and I have it in my book. I talk about how it came over from Germany, the Nazis and brought it into the healthcare system, which was the, the mental health facilities back in the 40s. OK, here's my my observation and that's a question i want to give to you um the the technique used in germany in the holocaust in the 1930s and in the early 40s 
this uh, this this beta test they did on the Jews, you know, this, this mass killing. Do you believe that this was a they were testing certain drugs, they were testing certain techniques on human behavior, and it, and then they brought it to the United States, and some and many of these same techniques have been used here in the United States. I think so. I think they definitely were using kind of behavioral psychology back then in the 1930s, at least at that phase of uh, understanding. I think it's all all the way up to today. And that's the way they can control large groups of people uh, because they tricked a lot of those people into those camps through lie after lie after lie after lie. And we know some of the experimentation that took place under under Mengele and others. So I think that the drugs were being treated. Yeah. So I think so. I think a lot of that stuff was coveted, which is why the paper clip and a lot of these um, war criminals were allowed to live. And there were stories about Mengele actually being in contact with U.S. intelligence. Uh, so a lot of that information, they were coveted by Dulles, people who started him, the altar, actually. What can we do as Christians to combat this, to protect our families, uh, this mind control? What What's coming down the road? Yeah, you got to really be careful. Got to make sure you're monitoring what your children see and things like that. And uh, be careful with these techniques of, of manipulation, of creating dread or uh, fear. These are all intentional. So, well, they've yeah. done it many times and they're using it. Uh, they say that one of the biggest in, in the history of behavioral controls, one of the most important thing is to always put a fear of immediate and quick death. Uh, alongside whatever you're trying to get across, because that's what really will motivate people. So you got to really be careful about these kind of statements that, you know, you're going to die right away or something like that, because that's everybody's greatest fear. So they know the people in power, certainly in the United States, know how to yeah. kind of pull those strings. You got to really watch out for the fear assaults and all and that, because it's that's a form of mind control. It may not be overt of like sticking a chip in your brain, but mm-hmm. they're definitely wanting to control people. And we can talk about pharmacy and the drugs and the, the unnecessary so-called antidepressants, which really put you in a fugue state. You want to talk about social control. Think about how many people are taking pills today for whatever psychiatric condition is oh. off the charts. It's a huge, oh. si- it's huge social control. I know. Well, we, you know, we talk about mind control, MK Ultra. I want to talk about somebody like an, um, Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, because he's so, you know, uh, well known for what... I mean, you take somebody like that, how could he do something like that? You look at his mom and dad and school teachers, I believe it was. And it seems like, is someone like that susceptible to my, is it, was it, do you think it could have been an MK Ultra? Do you think it seeps into serial killers uh, and, and mass shooters? I think so. I think you can be programmed to create a kind of schizophrenic state, but they were definitely testing it on people. And some of these, uh, you can look at some of the killers that came out of Santa Cruz. They were both uh, experiment had a, a, a heavy duty MK Ultra doctor from Stanford, and were using massive amounts of drugs, LSD, and they both became serial killers. So I think there wasn't in, in the, a government program to create the the uh, trigger to uh, create a serial killer. Yeah, no question. I think that that's true. And also the yeah. forgetful, like if you look, you can go into Sirhan Sirhan, the story of his story is very well recorded that he has no memory of the event of RFK, shooting RFK, and that he was on some kind of pre- primitive radio with a guy called Radio Man who was giving him instructions. So yeah. he was one of those people, and they found this out in hypnotism going all the way back to the 30s and 40s, that every person is on a spectrum of, of how... Uh, susceptible they are to hypnotism. Some people yeah. can go into a hypnotic state at the you know snap of a finger, and some people cannot be hypnotized. Sirhan yeah. Sirhan, they say, was the most hypnotizable person, according to a third party psychiatrist who went and investigated him. He was the most hypnotizable person he had ever mm-hmm. seen. This thing is worldwide. I know that a lot of uh, what you study and what you investigate also is in the UK. For some reason, the UK. Is, when I mention mind control, the, the the next thing that pops up is UK. Is there anything behind that? I think some of these programs were done uh, consecutively with these other governments were involved. Canada, I know, UK, and the US were all involved in this kind of mind control stuff post-war. 
And, and so what, what, what you're saying is that their ultimate agenda is to control, do you think it's to an eliminate a certain sections of society and then control the rest? Or do you think it's just to control? I think the goal of these mind control things was controlled through a variety of different techniques and means. So I think overarching MK Ultra was put together to really control society and how to control it through different means, whether it's drugs, mind control, creating altars, all the strange stuff. But uh, I think that the rulers always are, there always have been the elites or the liege lord or whatever it was in the, in the you know, serf era or whatever, the medieval era. It's always trying to keep control, stay on top and make sure, you know, that what Crowley would say is the slave shall serve. So. Right, right. Really but you see, it would make sense to me that they're targeting Christians because Christians are one of the few groups that's going to stand up to this, that's going to stand against it based on the Bible. You see, I'm talking the real Christians, not the hokey pokey, fakey Christians that, you know, go to church on Easter and whatever. Um, do you think that Christians are being targeted or will be targeted very soon? I do. I think they're being uh, selected right now. I think they're being targeted um, definitely by some of these groups. I think at night, these men who are, are being targeted, there's a over a proportion of Christians in that. And I think that uh, you're right. I think they will be targeted and, and selected as the resistors. They will not, the Christians will not want to go into this kind of techno slavery, um, the beast system. And the Bible tells you you won't be written in the book of life if you accept the mark, right? So why right. would a Christian, a believer in the book, want to do that? Right, but somebody right. else is telling you take the mark. So right. we're not that far off. The technology there exists. Like I can go to Whole Foods here and see the hand being placed. It's right next to the cash register here in California. They want to use your hand as an identifier. So the mark isn't that far off. If you haven't, go to davidhebner.tv. Sign up right now. You'll catch full interviews, not only on L.A. Marzulli, but Russ Dizdar, Rob Skiba, and Irvin Baxter. You'll find we have an original programming channel with special interview, talks about UFOs and Bible prophecy. It's the interviews I've done. You can catch the complete uh, package there on davidhebner.tv. Listen, we have the new End Times DVD. Um, it's uh, I investigates uh, end times investigation. I have a lot of my friends on here: uh, Lisa Haven, Michael Lake. Uh, I, I have Josh Peck, L.A. Marzuli, uh, Stephen Bancroft. I mean, eight hours of of me investigating things like Satanism, demonic powers, Illuminati, New World Order, Antichrist, One World Religion, end times miracles, Bible prophecy. Folks, let me tell you something. One day, what you're watching us on right now, it's called. Well, it's called television, it's called social media, it's called the internet. They're going to turn that baby off. You need a hard asset. So when all this stuff gets shut off, this is what, the, what you're going to be able to, to learn from and to understand. So I want you to uh, text the word CHOSEN to 91999 or go to davidhevener.tv forward slash order or call 844-806-0006. The brand new DVD uh of last evangelist you can get it right now uh it's limited collector's edition it's got the new episode on it along with band videos with me and michael lake and lisa havens uh, Sh sheila lazinski everybody i am honored and blessed not to have just one new book out but two new books that's right two new books the first one is end times investigation i deal with hollywood mind control I deal with demon portals, the alien demon connection, uh, astral projection, program multiples, satanic ritual abuse, and much, much more. The things that I talk about in Last Evangelist and on my shows, the all my interviews I do, it's right here in this book, especially my life story. Also, true power, how to uh, access your true power uh, in these last days, okay? Um, it's a war manual for God's children. We need to learn the enemy's tactics and how to battle the enemy in these last days. Pick up a copy of this book. Just text the word CHOSEN to 91999, or you can go to davidhevener.tv forward slash order, or you can simply call 844-806-0006.